going on? It's Landon Remixes here, and it's time for the 21st edition of Rapid Fire Reviews, the series where I do mini reviews of sorts of albums and EPs that I had originally planned to do full reviews of, but for whatever reason didn't get time to. Most of you probably already know what's going on, so I'm going to cut straight to the chase. It's been a few months since I've done one of these videos, and thus a lot of albums and EPs have really piled up on me. About 50, to be exact. So this is going to be an absolutely huge rapid fire review. I don't think I've ever done one with this many projects being featured in one video, but you know, I'm gonna go for it. So without further ado, I should probably just get into this, and this time around I organized everything in alphabetical order. I figured it would make it easier for both myself and you to watch. I don't at all blame you if you want to kind of scroll through and only listen for the thoughts on the albums that you really wanted to see me review, uh, but I would encourage you to stick around for the entire thing because you might find some goodies in here. First off, we've got the Five Oki EP from Steve Aoki, and honestly, I'm not sure if I like this more or less than the Four Oki EP, in fact, they're probably pretty even uh, for me in terms of how much I enjoyed it. But I actually did really like a couple tracks on this EP. Uh, the song Pika Pika with Loopers, for one, I thought was really fantastic. I think Steve Aoki did an excellent job uh, kind of trying to combine his signature electro sound with Looper's bass house style. I think it works really great. And then uh, Moshi Moshi I thought was really good too. For whatever reason, I was expecting a lot out of this album, possibly even more than the new Above and Beyond LP. And while there are definitely some good tunes on this album, I honestly left the project feeling pretty unsatisfied. This new Chainsmokers EP actually has me really excited for what their next album is going to bring. It's very real, very self-aware, and though I don't think the production is super fantastic or unique. Uh, I think the lyrics are pretty spot on, which made this EP really enjoyable for me. Gotta say it, hands down, another great EP from Chime. I don't think I prefer this to experience points, but this is a really solid EP with four straight bangers. This is a pretty cool album, and though I wouldn't say I prefer it to Chrome Spark's first couple EPs, I am really excited to see how he progresses moving forward. Definitely some really solid synth pop here. Definitely some really repetitive choruses. This EP is so, so pretty, and though it's only two tracks long, I would definitely suggest it. Um, both of them are really good. This is Dada Life's first album since 2012's The Rules of Dada, and I've gotta say, their sound really has not aged well. Additionally, this album has some weird themes, but they don't come across nearly as humorous as they did on that last album. I'm really not into this one. I've gotta say, I was really looking forward to this album, and I ended up being kind of disappointed. While I think I would have loved to see this album performed in a live context, I think the final studio recording just didn't do that much for me. Especially because the orchestral arrangements really didn't bring anything to the table that the originals didn't. I feel like I'd just rather listen to one of Dead Mouse's studio albums than this one. I was really surprised at how much I actually enjoyed this new Diplo EP. Not because it's the most crazy, unique project he's ever done, but just because it's some really solidly produced pop music with some great guest features. I have a lot of respect for direct. I just think Trust in Me was more my vibe than this EP is. This EP, I think, really confirmed Eddie is one of my favorite artists from the Mousetrap roster, right up there with Rez and No Mana. It's pretty good. I've enjoyed my fair share of Felix Cartal songs, though this album really isn't doing that much for me. While it's really cool to see Jenton Johns back in action, I've gotta say the only track off this EP I really loved was Reconcile, and I absolutely despise Champion Sound. This is one of the projects that that I really would have liked to do a full review of, especially since I haven't gotten a good excuse to talk about Mern's music. I really like both sides of it, Gentle Bones, witty and humorous lyrics, and Mern's production is also really solid the whole way around. I've gotta say, this is by far the Glitch Mob's most lackluster project to date. There was almost nothing memorable about this album, and honestly, I only purchased it to support Elohim. This album in general sounds so passionless, I feel like they pumped it out just so they could go on another tour. Though the mix downs on this album aren't fantastic, I think Zodiac rounded out as a really cool project that I can see myself coming back to more than I thought I would. It also reminded me of Elenium's Ashes in all the best ways. I do have to say though, it is a little bit ironic that my song, Pisces, is probably my least favorite song in this album. I've gotta say, this EP is evidence that Goja is much more attentive to sound design than a lot of their contemporaries, especially in house music. I enjoyed this album a bit more than I thought I would. I mean, Casbo is never my favorite name in the future bass world. Definitely some really good production here though, and some really unique usage of vocal chops that I liked a lot. I definitely called Matt Carney putting out an EDM album, and though I 
wouldn't really say this is one of my favorite albums that he's put out. I do think uh, the whole Tropical House vibe works really well with his sound. This is a cool little retrospective compilation album. Uh, some of my favorite Coven tracks made it onto this album, and there are some really great remixes here too. Definitely some quality hip-hop here. I'd say Spacesuit is among my favorite hip-hop projects of 2018, even if Javon's vocals definitely take some getting used to. This mixtape is just as lengthy as Teenage Emotions, but without all the wild, stylistic experimentation that that album had. It also doesn't carry over hardly any of Lil Yachty's flair and personality that was on Lil Boat 1, so what does that leave this mixtape? Wasn't really a fan of this album. I would have liked to see Matt Duke's first album done in a style that maybe he's a little more comfortable with. Matroda's actually one of my favorite up-and-comers in the world of bass house music, but I've gotta say, his run with Monster Cat has not been so enjoyable for me. On this EP, I guess I like the drive, but that's really about it. A huge thank you to the person that suggested this album. I had no idea what to expect going into it, but I came out loving almost every second. Please, please suggest more albums like this and Noisia's Outer Edges before they release. I would love to review them. I really enjoyed this EP, especially Eleven, Riot, and the tune with Grant, I Don't Want to Talk About It. Would definitely suggest it to any future bass heads that are following me. Gotta say, I'm really impressed with Midas's ability to throw this album together after losing an entire album, uh, because this album doesn't sound thrown together at all. There are some really great songs on it, and even though I wouldn't say this is my favorite album of the year by far, it's a really solid melodic project that I would definitely suggest it. I don't know what I expected going into this album, but I think I came out of it feeling more negatively toward it than I did with 9,999 in one. Uh, this is just a lot of really dated Electro House, and I don't know what else to say about it. Generally, some really great songs in here. Generally, some really great remixes. Though I have to say, I wish they would have kind of come separately, because it's very difficult to listen to this project all the way straight through. I'd say this is probably one of my favorite EPs Muzzy has done, though it doesn't quite top F minor factory. Uh, I really like the two more rock-centric tracks, the one with Celldweller and the one with Sullivan King. Uh, though I will say this project is probably the most Rob Swire project that Muzzy has ever done. The Pendulum and Knife Party influences are so there. I don't know why I was expecting more out of this album than we got. I'd compare this to Marshmallow, but even Marshmallow's newer music has been more interesting than the content on this album. Definitely wouldn't say I prefer this EP to Origins, but I really like Double Up, and Welcome to Mayhem's VIP might be my favorite dubstep track of the year. This is probably the side of Eric Prids that I prefer a little bit more. Not really headphone music in my book, but I can see myself absolutely losing my mind to this kind of music live. Outside of his remixes, Robotop Talkie has been a bit of a hit or miss artist for me, and unfortunately I think most of this EP is a miss. I think this EP is Sieb's first project that's really been on par with their remixes. It's not fantastic, but it's good. I would say I like this EP. I mean, there are definitely some pretty clear Odessa influences across the board, but it's like, this EP isn't super formulaic and it's really serene too. It's enjoyable. This EP is certainly more of a return to form for Slushy, and I would say I enjoy it more than Out of Light, but that's really the most positive thing I have to say about it. Typically, I wouldn't say I enjoy music in this style, but I gave this album a chance and I ended up liking it quite a bit. This album is just Porter Robinson's worlds, but for kids who exclusively listen to Trap Nation. I think Solji has a lot more potential than he's hitting on this EP. I mean, it's solidly produced music, but he's also very clearly latching on to a lot of really trendy sounds and influences like Rez and Zoo, and I feel like with a a little bit more time and work, uh, Solji could really be something special. I would say I do like this EP significantly more than Sullivan King's last solo EP, but I also like it significantly less than his collaborative EP with Dirty Phonics, if that makes any sense. It seems like Sullivan King kind of tried to take the vibe of Vanta Black and extend it into a longer EP, but to do it by himself, and the result was just a little half-baked. I've heard a lot of great things about the No Redemption Live Tour, so I can say my expectations for this EP were pretty high, and I came out of it feeling a bit underwhelmed. This EP reminded me of like 2012-2013 Tiesto in like the weirdest way possible. He kind of takes that style and then blends it with the very trendy future bounce sound that a lot of producers are doing right now. 
And it, it works okay. I wouldn't say I absolutely hate this EP, but I really don't love it. I'm going to Night WWW as my favorite hip hop album of 2018 so far. Uh, Tokyo has been an outstanding rapper throughout these last couple of years, and if you haven't checked out his stuff, you definitely should. And this album is also very enjoyable. Next to Apache's Requiem, this new Vorso EP is undoubtedly my favorite EP of the year. Excellent composition, mind blowing sound design, it's seamless, which is really cool. This EP EP is near perfect, don't miss out on it. Definitely wouldn't call this EP perfect, but I do think it has a couple bangers on it. If it's saying anything, I'm actually kind of excited about Yellow Claw's new album that's coming out later this month. This is definitely an interesting new direction for Zoo, though I wouldn't say I prefer it over his debut album. This right here is a solid EP, and I will say, all the kids are depressed, turn me over into a fan of Jeremy Zucker, so good work. And that's everything. A to Z, almost 50 albums and EPs. I think it's time for me to get some lunch. Uh, anyway, I hope you guys enjoyed this edition of Rapid Fire Reviews. As always, you can find all the Spotify links galore to the albums and EPs I talked about in this video down in the description, uh, which is going to be absolutely huge. And I, I hope you guys enjoyed this video. I'll catch you later. I'm Landon Remixes. Peace.